Yo, what's going on guys? The new update maintenance drop has finally dropped uh, and it looks like it's gonna be tomorrow around midnight time for me. So I'll probably be streaming around 11.30, 11.45. So come check it out. We'll be doing uh, JP Demons until, uh, until it drops. So yeah, that'll be that. I already have been spoiled for one thing and the freaking man with the shotgun is red. I called it in the Discord earlier day around like six o'clock and I got yelled at for it. So let's hop right in. Uh, actually, I'm gonna zoom. Can I zoom in? Where's, where's, how do I? Okay, I can't zoom in. I don't know how. There, there's a little bit. All right, so experience a special collab event now. Pick up, draw. Uh, eleven. I know it's eleven, but I'm gonna say eleven just to make people mad who like the show. Jim Hooper, Mike Wheeler, and Will Bios. Collab heroes are at level eighty. You are no way. I don't have to farm any pendants. <gasps> I love you, Net Marble. Thank you. <laughs> they know. Also, he looks horrible. I don't think I could do that. He looks horrible. I wish I knew what these cards do. Hopefully, they go over it. But yes, one of each color. So I can't tell what any of the passives do or anything. So hopefully, one of them are at least God tier. So that way, it's at least worth somewhat summoning. I hope it's him. I hope it's him. He look, he's the only one I actually want. These other three just look like little kids, and I want them to burn. All right, um, so, then, so wait, wait, wait. Oh, never mind. that was not cut off. I thought it was just him by himself, but he, no, they're all divided. Uh, get collab hero costume and titles as rewards during a special collab event. Oh, we got a Hawaiian shirt, I think? With the stubble? Oh, damn. You look so depressed. This man is literally looking like he's played Grand Cross for 12 hours, and he just can't beat that Belmost even on hell. Seven Deadly Sins, Stranger Things, Collab, Celebration Event, World Quest, so you know the little mission, you get some gems and a ticket, Upside Down Exploration, I don't know what that is, uh, Mind Flare Deathmatch and events, okay, so it's like that those big boss events that they have and you get four people, I assume, and then, or it'll be like that little red guy that we have right now, I, I don't know the names, but, and then we get an ev event exchanger shop. Uh, some of these sins, Stranger Things collab play events, you get a check-in event, so make sure to check in every day, special missions, special card event. I think that's the one where you collect Merlin's cards, maybe? I'm not quite sure, honestly. Hawk's awesome treasure chest, chapter clear event, reward event. Uh, wait, so do we get a chapter? A whole new chapter? Huh, I doubt it. Uh, social media sharing event, yep, if you share and like it a bunch of, oh, no, no, this one, the sharing one. If you share, if you click share, and you share it on a social media or literally just X out right after you click share, you get one of the tickets. Uh, Diamond Perks event. All right, I honestly can't remember half this stuff. Buff events, that's just like half stamina on some stages, I believe. Continue the main quest once for free every day. Uh, okay, so yeah, this is all it is. Uh, so we get this again. I like this, I like this. I need so many red and blue stones. Uh, after the 426 maintenance until 510 to be announced on a separate notice. Okay. Oh, there's an event title, a peek inside the upside down. So is that like an actual buff or is it just like a title? I assume it's just a title. Sudden emergency training with the fairies. Oh, that's a growth event. So you can probably get two to three uh, SSR pendants there, guys. And oh, bro, he looks clean. These other people can just go die. I mean, I guess he doesn't look bad, but these other, these two can just, ah, looks bad. He just looks so depressed. Uh, uh, guaranteed collab SSR bundle. I might just get that if I get absolutely shafted. Collab diamond bundle. This is probably gonna be eighty dollars. Uh, this is probably gonna be forty-five or whatever it is. Uh, I don't know. I, this one I think is slightly worth it. It's like basically in comparison to the uh, times five ticket bundle, which I don't see them promoting anywhere. And this was higher up, and I just scrolled right over it. Guaranteed a starter bundle, all right. Uh, ongoing purchase bundles, new starter bundle level three, substantial green war bundle. Okay, special rank achievements, bundles one, two, three, four, and five. Yeah, special rank. Here, right, right okay, do they reset that for us? Really? Dude, can we get some anvil bundles? Like, come on. Right. Super, awa Super Awakening 5 is here. It is confirmed, it will be here. We advise you fill the gauge to the exact value of the excess amount, will not be carried over. Okay, so that's good that they're putting that in there. I wish it was a bit more bolded like this, but whatever. The gauge will require more materials, the lower the ultimate move level. Yep. Uh, and then there it is, the uh, new SA Tower dungeon thing, which I highly suggest doing at least one time. 
you use one of your keys, guys. You don't get anvils and those. You have to do anvils or the Super Awakening coins. Uh, and then the new tower of trials is added. And yes, look how look at how pitiful the rewards are. You used to get so many more uh, rewards, in my opinion. I don't know. Maybe they did compress it. Maybe I'm crazy, but it is pretty hard. But if it's the same one, you basically are just gonna bring assault or uh, lost man, Melascula, and then like king. I, I believe that's all you really need, and then like death pierce on the back. So I should be able to clear this one fairly easily. Last time I had like a two six lost man, which just didn't kill anything. Floors will be continuously added. Their new tower trials. <laughs> Cleared floors will not reset. Okay, but guys, comment down below. Has these floors ever been added? Like new floors been added on JP? I don't know. Each stage will have some of their special effects and enemies unique hidden in order to provide you a tougher challenge. All right, that's annoying. Wait, wait to see what kind of various strategies you come up with as you study the battles. All right, um, that's little fight shop changes. Oh. Um, where did it go from though? Does it say what from? Because I think this was 20, so you get an extra 100. I wish it would lower the price, it's stupid. So I think they just, they like, cut this by 30% because it was like 1400. This is still too high, it should be like 400, bro. Like, they, these are not that, and then this is 6,000. For a singular Super Awakening coin, 6,000. Jesus Christ. Th th this is absurd. Never buy any of these. These are all bait. I mean, I guess you can buy the wine food and stuff, but this is what you want to mainly buy. This right here. Uh, okay, daily task, daily task rewards change. See, this is how they're going to be implementing new ways in order to help you grind easier. They're adding new cosmetic upgrades. They're adding uh, super awakening coins into your into your daily tasks, and this is every single day. I'm fairly certain you get one of all of these every single single day, and then these are the ones that uh, we're cycling in. Like they, they sometimes come in. Uh, so yeah, very good. Good job, Nightmare. Well, that helps. That helps. Uh, out of the ability to skip some animations and PVE content. Oh, I love that. So it's like final boss and knighthood boss. That's very, very nice. Appearances in boss battles, phase changes in battle battles, etc. Oh, okay. There's okay. All right, and then you're gonna miss out on a bunch of this stuff. You guys don't get all of this done. Um, is there anything else? Let's see. I wonder if there's a loadout over there. Um, I don't think so. So we don't even get to see what they do. We just get to see their card. That is so lame. Dude, I just want to know what they do. Alright, well, I guess we can just look at their card real quick. So, he has double attack cards. So, a green, red Gother looks like he could be very pre prevalent. Uh, he has a debuff. He has, what well, it looks like a freeze card. I don't know. And then this might be an ignite card. Hence why it's a debuff, but I mean, if it's a freeze card, wouldn't it be a debuff? I don't know. I guess Red Jericho's isn't a, de uh, isn't a debuff from what I remember. This this might be like Dissolve, just the way he's doing it, or maybe Disable, uh, like de uh, the shield, you know, Goddess of Shield, or like Stun. And it looks like it's obviously AoE, because, you know, it's going that cross pattern, like Blue Gother. This looks like it's AoE, maybe it could be Amplify, I'm not quite certain. Uh, this could be like a rupture because it just reminds me of Big, Big Diane's card. And then this, I have no idea. I don't know, but that's just my speculation. Just a quick little speculation. But guys, guys, get ready. So tomorrow at midnight Central Time, that is when I'm going to be going. To, or I guess 11:30 uh, is when I will be doing it. But hopefully, you guys can come swing by. I'm going to be going with one rotation just because they're collab units. I changed my mind. Why do they show all these other side characters? We don't even, I don't know. I saw a post saying they're racist for not making him summonable. <laughs> uh, but anyways guys, hopefully you guys are ready and let me know down below, are you guys gonna skip this? You're gonna summon, you're gonna wail, you're gonna go all in. I know one. some people in chat are, or my discord. So yeah, please consider hitting that like button. Make sure you are subscribed because YouTube sometimes unsubscribes you and it makes me go sad. So hope you guys have an amazing day and peace out.